There you are. I've been here for hours. Ada hasn't shown up. No one has. I don't like this. I don't like this? <laughs> That's right up there with what could possibly go wrong. That's the wench we're looking for. Gut her! Isabella, should have known you'd find me here. Tell your men to burn the letters next time. Castillon was heartbroken when he heard about the shipwreck. You should have let him know you survived. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> Where's the relic? I lost it. Castillon's just going to have to do without. Lost it? Just like you lost a ship full of valuable cargo? They weren't cargo, Hader. They were people. Those slaves were worth a hundred sovereigns a head. And you let them scurry off into the wilds. And now the relic's gone, too. Castillon won't be happy to hear that. I promise you. Will someone explain what's going on? Isabella's been a very bad girl. Ruined a perfect business deal, and then ran away. She didn't tell you? I told him enough. Really? Because it doesn't seem like it. I said I arranged for a duel, which I did. I also said you wouldn't play fair, which you didn't. We can talk later if you want. Right now we have other problems. You don't have to tell Castillon about Isabella. If I cross him, he'll have me killed. And my life is worth more than hers. There's only one way to settle this. I was trying to talk him down. Trust me, it's better this way. Castillon won't hear about me from Hader, but he'll find me eventually. I just have to get him the relic. It's simple as that. What's so interesting about the relic? I don't really know what it is, except that it's ancient and worth my weight in gold. Castillon has me chasing it down as payback for freeing his slaves. To be honest, I think he just wants me dead, but that would be letting me off easy. You hired Lucky to track down information on the relic. That's right. He insisted he knew everything that was going on in Kirkwall. He lied. <laughs> I bet he doesn't even know everything going on in his pants. Did you end up in Kirkwall because your ship was destroyed? There was a storm. The ship ran aground on the reefs near the city. I managed to make it to shore. Most of my men weren't as lucky. Poor sods. I knew some of those men almost ten years. Ah, oh, balls. Who is Castillon? He's a powerful merchant based in Antiva. I believe he has ties to the Felicissima Armada. I used to work for him. The jobs mostly involved smuggling lyrium, jewels, or the occasional criminal acquaintance. He paid well. What's this about you freeing slaves? I was asked to escort Castillon's cargo ship. I got a bad feeling about the job partway through. Boarded the ship to find slaves. Nearly 200. Elves, humans, children even. It was sickening. They paid Castillon to take them away from the Blight. He took their money and sold them into slavery. Even I can see that's wrong. If getting the relic gets Castillon off your back, then I'll help you retrieve it. I still don't know where it is, but you'll be the first to know if I hear anything. Anyway, thanks for helping me out with Hader. I think I'll tag along for a while. There might be something I could do for you. And I have a room at the Hanged Man if you're looking for company later. Nice hound, brother. More agreeable than most of your company. A few hundred of you, and we'd have taken Lothering. Or had a good shot. That's a good dog. Varric, no. Well, you're the captain. Or you will be. It'll be easy. I'm not petitioning the Viscount to help you steal ownership of the Hanged Man. Steal? Madam, you wound me. I'm about to.
Big changes are coming, huh? Captain of the Guard. Thank you, Wesley. That you keep his memory speaks well of him. He's not with me. I know that. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not. Either way, he knows no pain. What I keep is that moment. I won't let anyone down like that again. Wesley's at the Maker's side, or he's not? What do you mean by that? Wesley believed, and if he was correct, then that's where he is. But this business of the less the Maker does, the more he's proven, I don't find it compelling. But you married a Templar. I married a man, a good one, and he's gone. I have heard the chant. It is lovely. Perhaps that's all it needs to be. You clearly miss Wesley, but that's not the issue. Of course I miss him, but he's not coming back. Pining like a child serves no one. So I remember him, but I let him rest. You're not so kind to yourself, though. No. I don't see how you can take the blame for the Darkspawn Horde. I put him to the sword myself, Hawk. At his behest. I know in my head that it was right. So did Wesley. But in my heart, that cut was cruel. I can't imagine the Captain of the Guard will like wandering in my shadow. It's not like this job means we're on opposite sides. The good you do, it seems rather appropriate. Besides, I'll be making the patrol schedule. And I don't intend to lead from a desk. I look forward to working with you, Guard Captain Aveline. Still strange, isn't it? Captain of the Guard. Thank you for helping me get here, Hawk. It's where I should be. Old Shemlin, your kind are not welcome among the Dalish. I was given an amulet for someone named Marathari. How do you know that name? Wait, this is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought he'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari, I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Your guards said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do. To my dreams, I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child, made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. This amulet's owner rescued my family from the Blight. In return, I agreed to bring it to you. I honor you for coming to me. But I'm afraid your part in this is not done yet. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this right for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. 
You'll find Merrill waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Sheral. Oh, I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anathera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl. Which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, alright? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story, I'll just shut up now. We didn't get a proper introduction. I am... or was, I suppose. The first to keep a Marathari. I've studied the old ways for as long as I can remember. I know things. The law of the Dalish that can help us get to the summit of Sandermort. My name is Hawk. Glad to make your acquaintance, Meryl. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? I miss the cold and the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellina. It's not wise to make her wait. What do we have to do with the amulet? It's a funeral of sorts. I'll perform it when we get to the mountaintop. Getting there is the tricky part. Our hunters haven't been able to reach the summit. Dark things are about. I take it you've been expecting me to bring this amulet for some time. The Keeper brought us here to wait for you. I don't know much more than that. I do know that you have Asha Belenar's amulet, and we must bring it to the altar on the mountaintop. Nothing more. Do you know the witch who sent me here? No, not personally. My people tell stories of her, though. You're very lucky. Most people who meet Asha Belenar wind up in little pieces, hanging from the trees. Let's get this over with. The Keeper didn't mention you were a mage. All Keepers know a bit of old magic. The stories tell us that all Elven once had the gift. But like so many things, it was lost. It's a Keeper's job to remember, to restore what we can. Can't demons possess Dalish mages? It can happen. And when it does, the clan must hunt and kill their own Keeper. Does the Chantry know about the Dalish mages? Oh, they know. Keeper Marathari told me that was one of the reasons we never camped too long in one place. They usually won't pursue us if we stay away from the cities and towns and keep moving. You don't know how good you've got it. But my clan is now in more danger, having lost our Hala. If you go to Kirkwall, you'll be an apostate in a city full of Templars. I know. But if I don't go to Kirkwall, I'll be alone. A solitary elf is easy prey for anyone. In the city, I can get lost in the crowd. I'm glad you decided to pitch in back there. Oh! Oh, you're welcome. I wasn't sure I'd be much good. I've done a little fighting before, but it was always alone. I try not to hit anyone. On our side, I mean. I'm babbling again. Let's go. So the Keeper finally found someone to take you from here. Yes. Then finish your task quickly, human. We cannot be rid of this one too soon.
The Dalish are one big happy family. I have made my choice. And I will save our clan whatever you think. What's going on here, Meryl? Nothing. Just ignorance. We should go. I'm sorry. You're not really seeing the Dalish at their best. We're good people that look out for each other. Just not today, apparently. Is there anything I can do to help? It's kind of you to ask. I'm fine. Even if my people don't appreciate my efforts, I must see this through. Let's go. Ashabella Nar isn't known for her patience. I can open the way forward. One moment. That was a summoning. That takes blood magic. Are you crazy? Yes, it was blood magic, but I know what I'm doing. The spirit helped us, didn't it? Call it what it is. You summoned a demon. Demons are just spirits, like honor or joy. It's not their fault they are what they are. You know nothing of spirits. Don't try to spread your ignorance. Be careful up ahead. Restless things prowl the heights. In the days of Arlathan, the elders came here to sleep. Uthanara, the endless dream they called it. But they don't sleep peacefully anymore. Aharin Amalana Salim, Emma Ira Bella Zaviranam. Isalahamin vinanhim dofilas. In Uthanera narivas. Ah, and here we are. Andarana Tishian Ashabalana. One of the people. I see. So young and bright. Do you know who I am beyond that title? I know only a little. Then stand. The people bend their knee too quickly. So refreshing to see someone who keeps their end of a bargain. I half expected my amulet to end up in a merchant's pocket. I agreed to deliver the amulet, though you could have told me you were inside it. Just a piece. A small piece. But it was all I needed. A bit of security, should the inevitable occur. And if I know my Morrigan, it already has. What are you? A spirit? An abomination? This is no magic I've ever seen. <laughs> and you would know of spirits and abominations. I'm a mage. Of course I know of such things. Of course. I am a fly in the ointment. I am a whisper in the shadows. I am also an old, old woman. More than that, you need not know. Is that someone I should know? She's a girl who thinks she knows what is what better than I or anyone. <laughs> and why not? I raised her to be as she is. I cannot expect her to be less. I'm not sure whether she's your daughter or your enemy. Neither is she. Why did you need me to bring you here? Because I had an appointment to keep. And because I did not want to be followed. You smuggled me here quite nicely. I don't understand. Are you some kind of vision? <laughs> Must I be in only one place? Bodies are such limiting things. I am but a fragment cast adrift from the whole. A bit of flotsam to cling to in the storm. A fragment? 
You do not need to understand, child. Know only that you may have saved my life, just as I once saved yours. An even trade, I think. You have plans, I take it? Destiny awaits us both, dear boy. We have much to do. Before I go, a word of advice. We stand upon the precipice of change. The world fears the inevitable plummet into the abyss. Watch for that moment, and when it comes, do not hesitate to leap. It is only when you fall that you learn whether you can fly. Cheap advice from a dragon. We all have our challenges. Are we going to regret bringing her here? Regret is something I know well. Take care not to cling to it. To hold it so close that it poisons your soul. When the time comes for your regrets, Remember me. As for you, child, step carefully. No path is darker than when your eyes are shut. Master Anas Ashabelinar. Now the time has come for me to leave. You have my thanks. And my sympathy. Will you take me now? To the city, I mean. That was the bargain, wasn't it? Are you going to use blood magic on the people of Kirkwall? No, of course not. I'm trying to help my people rediscover our history. It's something... I have to do on my own, it seems. I would never hurt anyone, not on purpose anyway. I do my best to... Oh, I'm making it worse, aren't I? Shut up, Meryl! Are you sure you want to do this? I... Yes. Yes, I've made up my mind. There's no going back to the Keeper now, anyway. Why Kirkwall? It doesn't exactly seem like the best place for a Dalish elf. I confess, I've never been to a city. But there's safety in numbers, right? I can't do what I have to do alone. This is probably for the best. Follow me. Maseranus. Thank you. Maseranus, child. Your debt is paid in full. It isn't too late to change your mind, Dalen. Dareth Shiral, Keeper. I'm ready. Let's depart. Elganan. Is this... Is this really where the elves live? If you think this is bad, you should see where I live. I didn't think it would be so... so... I've never seen so many people in one place before. It seems so lonely. You already know me. You'll make other friends soon enough. Guy. Thank you. Thank you for everything. For all your help. Will you come visit me? Not now, of course. But maybe later. I could use a friend. I'd like that, Meryl. Thank you. Oh, I'm thanking you too much, aren't I? I mean it, though. You're doing a nice job scraping the grime off these old floorboards. His mood's definitely improved, but he's too frisky to be cooped up in this shack all day. We need more space. I'm sure Uncle Gamlin would like nothing more than to be rid of us. I suppose I could take him for a stroll. What an odd sight we'll make. A mother and her Mabari. Egregio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. 
You were his servant as well as his bodyguard. I was his slave. I propped up the furniture when he was so inclined. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I grew up in Ferelden. It will always be my home. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? I have to admit, it's an attractive idea. But not now. I understand. Still, to have the option... must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but... there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Had I known Anso would find me a man so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Maybe I should be thanking Anso. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. So, I've been dying to know. What was going through your head when you fought that ogre? For the first few seconds, what do they feed those things? <laughs> I don't know anyone else that's even seen one. You're lucky just to be standing here. Somehow, Hawk, I imagine things won't be dull with you around. Not that I expect the deep roads to be boring, mind you. Constant threat of doom does tend to keep you awake. Anything in particular I should know about your brother? To understand Bartrand, you've got to understand the Dwarven Merchants Guild. These are dwarves who would sell their mothers if they thought it'd get them a better share of the Lyrium market. Anyone who deals with them has to sleep with a knife under their pillow. In my family, that's Bartrand. What are your plans for this trip into the Deep Roads? Bartrand's running the show. On Draste's ass, he'd probably do that even if we weren't paying for everything. The tide we're looking for is supposed to be a week's travel from the surface. So I hope you aren't scared of the dark. We've got supplies, muscle, excavators. The plan is to carry out everything that's not nailed down. If we'll be working together, I should find out more about you. True enough. I suppose you ought to know my credentials. My family came from Orzammar, Noble House Tethrys, until my father got caught fixing provings. He and our whole house got exiled. No huge loss. I was born up here. Sunshine suits me just fine. Are you a merchant? A mercenary? I'm a younger son. It's a difficult and dangerous profession. A lot of us die of boredom. Fortunately, being Bartrand's younger brother keeps me on my toes. Maker knows he lacks subtlety. 
I'm the one who pulls strings to keep the coterie out of our hair. Keep us just a whisker ahead of the other families. A lot of things can keep you awake, you know. I wouldn't reach for the doom first. Sure, I could have a cup of tea in the morning. But I hear it's bad for you. I've spent my whole life in Kirkwall. Dangerous enough most days, but it doesn't compare to the deep roads. So, this will be... let's just call it an adventure, I guess. Great. Now we're adventurers. Maker. I think he's ignoring me now. Hey! Is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk. Thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? I don't know if that's wise. Oh, please. Fixating on what's wise makes you forget what's fun. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. Is this a friend or a friend? I never let him steer my ship, if that's what you're asking. From what I hear, he doesn't have good control of his rudder. His name's Martin. He has a room right here in The Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. Now, you going to leave me to my drinking or what? Hey, who are you? My, you're jumpy. Look at you, cowering in a corner. What happened to the fearless, dashing raider I used to know? I'm not a raider anymore, Isabella. I'm just an honest merchant now. Please, Martin. You wouldn't know honest if I tied you up and spanked you with it. You tie him up, I'll go find some honesty. Very funny, Isabella. You said you could find me help. This is the best you could do, eh? You want the help or not? Yes, I want help. I need someone to help me find out where the raiders have hidden my stolen cargo. This job's as easy as a peg-legged tavern wench. And there's good coin in it to boot. What did the raiders do to you? They closed in on my ship and forced her into the cliffs. My crew and I barely made it out alive. They must have salvaged the cargo when it washed ashore. Are the raiders a big problem around here? They've got some big plan for Kirkwall, or so I've heard. If they're not a problem now, they will be soon. It's your cargo. You look for it. Those raiders are still looking for me. I'm not going to draw their attention. You used to be a raider. What happened? Yes, I was a raider. Back then it was just smuggling and petty thievery. It's changed since that madman Ianto took power around here. Extortion, murder, kidnapping, he does it all. It's just not to my taste. I tried to get out, but he didn't like that. This scar on my neck, he gave it to me. Slit my throat and threw me overboard. I tried to start a new life away from this bullshit. And he has his men chase me down and steal my cargo. Sounds like trouble you made for yourself. Why would the raiders want your cargo? Is it valuable? How should I know why they want it? It's just spices and herbs. Nothing special. I'll take care of it. You'll need to look around the docks. The crates bear the seal of the Orlesian Port Authority. So you'll know it when you see it. You're assuming I know what an Orlesian Port Authority seal looks like. It's fancy. Just like everything Orlesian. I've had it with the Raiders, and this cargo is the key to me getting on the straight and narrow. You're doing me a huge favor here, friend. Thank you, and be careful.